We are in Office 365. I'm going to show you how to block email that doesn't have a proper SPF record. SPF stands for Sender Policy Framework, and it's a type of record that we use to keep email that we don't want from various different places that are trying to send phishing attacks and other things to us. So if you don't have an SPF record, that means that you're not verified and therefore you shouldn't be trusted. So we can easily turn that on to block any email without a proper SPF record, and I'll show you how to do that. So on the left-hand side where it says admin, click on admin from your Office 365 home page. Once we do that, we're in our Office Admin Center. Now, of course, you have to be an administrator in order to do this. So if you're not, you'll need to talk to your Office 365 administrator. In the left-hand side, you're going to see Admin Centers. We're going to go ahead and highlight that and click on Exchange. And that's going to take us to where it says Exchange Admin Center. So this is an area that's mainly used by people who are uh, more in the professional field, who have a lot of experience, but anybody can make this one change, so it's not too tough. On the left-hand side, click on Protection, as you see listed here. And at the top, click on Spam Filter. Now, we see this default Spam Filter, which is turned on by Microsoft. Let's go ahead and click on the pencil to edit it. And we'll expand that. Next, we're going to go over to where it says Advanced Options. Let's go ahead and click on Advanced Options. And we're going to scroll down to where it says Mark as Spam, that particular section. Now, if we scroll down a little bit farther, then we see this option where it says SPF Record Hard Fail. Right now, it's by default set to Off. Let's go ahead and choose On. All right, so when we choose on and we choose save, what's going to happen is if any sender tries to send you email and it doesn't have a proper SPF record, then it should not be trusted. So we'll go ahead and block those and send them off to our spam filter. And you'll be able to see those messages in your junk mail. So you can see I've got my Outlook web access open and I've got my junk mail link clicked. So it's not that it's going to go away completely. It's just going to go into junk. So you go ahead and click on junk and then you'll see that message. And if it's something that you want to keep, then you can certainly move that back into your inbox. You can also turn that particular feature off if it looks like it's more trouble than it's worth. So that's how we set up the SPF record block for spam in Office 365.